Hello, and welcome to another effort of, or attempt on my part, to do some live coding. The session I want to do today is all about LCD digits. Here's a wonderful little description we're going to use. Yeah, as you can see, all my fun things in my tabs there. And we're just going to paste this in for reference. So really, we need to generate digits uh, across multiple lines. Well, you can pause it and read it if you want to. Uh, we're going to do this as we've been doing them all, test driven. We're going to prove it works. And now, so I'm just going to actually just write tests up the 0 to 9. Um, so our first test, it should return an LCD 0 for 0. And we do our range, put in our act, put in our cert. I do have a uh, template that generates this for me, whatever. So not, I don't often do string expected, except in this case, we are uh, having a strange format. It's going to be base underscore base. Let me actually, uh, it doesn't work. I got my zero right here, so I can just keep going. Space underscore space. Give it a new line, and we do um, pipe space pipe new line pipe space pipe with an underscore in between. Okay, that's interesting. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my little at oh at uh, the whatever that I don't know what that's called. I totally forgot what that's called. Um, regular string. <laughs> uh, and we could do it that way. Um, uh, verbatim string. There we go. I prefer verbatim strings as a, what it is called. Now we're going to find the expected value here because it's going to be a little bit clearer when we do our search later on. Probably give it an int. Does it actually specify in our description? Uh, so we give it a number. Eh, sure. Yep, sure. We can give it a number. I, I'm just going to. Well, probably. I'm not sure. Just split it. Um, cast it to a string. Split it on the characters. Pull them out and spit it back. But we'll see how that goes. Um, and we get on result back from our from our LCD file. Go ahead and generate that one. Yep, yep. Takes an input, and we throw. Sure. Yeah, we're not gonna throw because we don't like to throw things. Okay. And then we're going to assert our equal, our expected, and our actual. Put const sure. Const sure. <clears throat> I'll see DFI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be a typo. I'm just going to disable typos. It adds a uh, wonderful little right, resharper disable up at the top here. Uh, I'm just going to kill it for this project because, eh, lazy. <clears throat> now, clearly, we know our input. Doesn't matter. We know our output. Yeah, exactly one thing.
Um, I don't want to do. So now I'm, I'm just going to return a hard coded zero here. See? Uh, I haven't turned on live testing yet. Doing that right now. Uh, I really like having my test auto run. So we'll just see. X is up here. It doesn't pass. That is not what I expected. Why do you not pass? Expected blah. Actual blah. Ah, blah. Missed the space at the beginning of my expected value. Ooh, so I want to point something out here. I almost copy and pasted from right here. I almost copy and pasted that and pasted it in here. Now, we very explicitly do not want to do that. Uh, for this exact reason, I had a typo in my expected value. And I re when I retyped it down here in LCDFI, I typed it correctly. So from, if I would have copied and pasted, I would have copied and pasted the typo, and my test would have verified that the typo I wrote was still typoed. That is not what we want to have happen. We want our test to validate. So this is why we never want to copy and paste from our production code into our test or from our test into our production code. We want to have this kind of double entry system that allows us to be more confident that things are working and we haven't copy and pasted a typo around. It's great that when these kind of things come up in <laughs> these live coding because it happens. You know, and I've done it enough that I have that in, uh, <clears throat> reflex to not copy and paste, even though maybe it would save me a few seconds. <clears throat> we don't need to save those few seconds and the cost I mean, we, we, I would have had a wrong answer. <clears throat> so, no, I'm not doing that. All right, so, wonderful example out of the way. Time to refactor. Uh, unit test class, not really what we are. Let's go ahead and rename that to LCD by tests. I'm probably only having one method, so I think we should be fine on naming it that. Should return the LCD zero for zero. Sure, LCDFI input. Eh, looks all good to me. All right, duplicate this. So I duplicate, I actually use control plus D. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, to duplicate that, I should find the ReSharper plugin that specifies what these are. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're gonna do one. What does one look like? All spaces, space, space, pipe, space, space, pipe. Okay. So all spaces. I really like having my dot. This is one reason I like the dots on. I can see I have three spaces or not dots. This is the reason I like to show white space. The conversation I've had a lot with colleagues. Um, <clears throat> I like to show white space. It helps in alignment, fine-tuned things. I just prefer it, but that's me. So when our input is one, we should get the LCD one back. Our act and asserts remain the same. We can now update the name. Our LCD one for one, make sure to rename that just because I like to double check things. Now, we, Say if my input is what I expect, then return. Um, return the hard code character. Now, this this is really ugly. Um, these are going to be constants, so I'm actually just going to start defining these. Code LCD one. Because having that all in there is going to be clustery and ugly and hard to read. Um, we're actually going to do this. Um, yeah, yeah it, it's. Horrible. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. 
maybe. All right, so I'm just going to add a um, ooh, nice private. Forget about those. I'm going to add this new line here, and this way I can do string interpolation with just an ENL. You know what? All that was horrible. I have my test working. Let's get them passing again. We're going to extract. Is it RC? No. Uh, RF is a constant. We're going to replace the one occurrence with a constant uh, static, the only constant. Both don't matter. This is an LCD one. Okay, so I'm actually going to also extract this into a field. We'll place the one occurrence of it. It's nice to see that I have two occurrences because then I know I'm doing it correctly. And this is going to be an LCD zero. Go next. Okay. <clears throat> so now we have our two tests passing. We have our constants popping up at the top here. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them there for now. Uh, I'm gonna kick zero above one just so we're in numeric order. Okay. And we are at 12 minutes, so I'm gonna break this up here and we will continue this uh, next time as I fix my tests before I sign off. Uh, uh, deleted the line. Everything's passing again. And now I'll go ahead and sign off. Uh, until next time. Thank you.